A report this week linking Mayor Lenny Curry's administration to the failed bid to sell JEA, raising questions about his future in office. On your side's David Jones spoke with an advocate for government transparency who says city leadership shouldn't let it go. The mayor says he has not read the damning special investigative committee report, which links his office to the failed sale of JEA. But he says he's been briefed on it. When the report talks about me, it uses words like appear. They have, they have no facts. They have no interviews. They have, they have nothing. It's a stain, frankly, at this point on his uh, tenure as, as mayor. Ben Wilcox is with government watchdog group Integrity Florida. This report serves to erode the public's trust in its government. And when that government is dealing with, you know, millions of, of taxpayer dollars and taxpayer resources, absolutely it's the concern to the citizens of Jacksonville. The attorney for ousted JEA CEO Aaron Zahn, a Curry appointee, slammed the report this week, claiming JEA employees were pushed to testify under duress. The attorney does not acknowledge city employees have to comply with council investigations under the law. Wilcox says the report's findings are serious and recommended changes are needed. Those recommendations include pushing more transparency in contract procurement, banning off-site meetings with executives and city reps and mandating content from city cell phones be preserved as public record. Yeah, you know, those recommendations are really important. There were a lot of problems just obtaining public records uh, in this investigation. Late last year, voters approved a set of changes to the city's charter, all but ensuring privatization of JEA will not take place in the future. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.